this tutorial is going to teach you about the broadcast command um, and we're going to use it specifically to um, have an instruction screen at the start of your game and a play button so that you can so that your user can click it to start playing um, to get us kicked off you'll notice I've made an extra background with some instructions on it and called it start screen I've also got that original background which is game screen um, I'm doing this in my catch the fruit game you could do it in any game you choose really um, but we're going to start off by making a sprite called a play button so I'm just gonna have a simple gray oval and the text box over the top with the word play in there that's all it's going to be and click OK and that's a bit big so I'll just shrink it a bit there we go now we're going to have to set two broadcast commands um, the first one will be on the play button which I'm going to call play button and that will be control when the play button is clicked broadcast as I need to create a new one and I'm going to call it play um, and then once the button's been clicked it's going to move on to my game so I want it to hide the um, I also need to put another command in there to make sure it comes back at the start of every game so when the green flag is clicked I want it to show there we are so that's all my play button is going to do at the moment I now need to go back to my stage and make sure that when the green flag is clicked where am I? Um, when the green flag is clicked I need it to switch to background start screen which is my which are my instructions there we go now for the rest of my variables basically um, switch to background start screen and we called it play didn't we that broadcast when I receive play so when it hears that play broadcast that the play button's made switch to background game screen there we go this is also how you switch you set different levels in your game so when the green flies click go to the start screen when you receive play which happens when you click the play button switch to background game screen let's try it so nothing else should happen but I should be able to click that and it switches to the game screen and the play button hides good now what I want to do is to make all of these things hide all my other sprites hide until I click the play button so you're going to need to change some bits of your code here I'll go to my catcher first um, When the green flag is clicked, I want it to hide. When it receives play, I want him to go to there and show. Again, get rid of your green flags for everything else and replace them with when I receive play. There we are. You would do that for all your other sprites. So, first off, this one needs to go on to the bananas and the crisps. And I need to change that to when I receive play. And that to when I receive play. delete these out in the crisps because then I can duplicate them pop them across there and go to my crisps and just change where it says bananas to crisps there we go so let's test it and see if it works the ah one thing I haven't done is these things will still be displayed at the top my variables so Where's my stage? When the green flag is clicked, switch to background start screen and variables, hide variable. 
underscore and hide variable time. When you receive play, show the variable score and show the variable time. So they will pop up as well. So everything should disappear now. Let's have a little look. Green flag, everything's disappeared. Read the instructions, press the play button, and the game should start. Have a go.